So when I was recording my last cover, which you should go watch, I'm really proud of it and it didn't get a lot of views. Uh, anyways, when I was recording it, I loaded up my stream deck here with uh, a bunch of hotkeys and shortcuts to help me out in Reaper when I was practicing and recording. Because uh, I deal with a lot of anxiety when I record stuff. And I got these long boy oaf hands, so like sometimes I'd reach for the keyboard and I'd hit like a random key, something would pop up that would prevent me from redoing what I was trying to do and I would just get really frustrated and frantic. And so anyways, I, I loaded it up uh, with a bunch of, with some of the, I made, uh, so I made a folder in the stream deck with like the basic key presses I need and some multi keys so like one button can stop and start practicing or recording or whatever. So I just thought I'd show you how I use these keys while I'm practicing and recording and then uh, do a quick tutorial on how to set it up if uh, you're not that well versed in it. But yeah, super handy tool for all kinds of things in Stream Deck, so get right into it. Okay, so super quick demonstration of the buttons that I have here. Here's what it looks like in the Stream Deck software itself as well as on the Stream Deck. So a lot of them are just basic key presses like the space bar for starting and stopping anything. And then a control R hotkey for starting a recording. Spacebar stop it obviously. I like to keep my project clean with um, takes that I'm not going to use. So I've got the undo button here to just delete that take. I also use undo and redo a lot together when I'm switching between BPMs when I'm practicing different songs. Um, up here I've also just got escape and home. Escape just for when sometimes you get those pesky uh, time selections to just cancel that out and home to just take you back to the beginning of the project. The cool things here are these multi-keys. So I've got stop start here. What this does is it executes two spacebar presses. So if I'm practicing a specific section and I mess up and I want to stop and start back at that, I just press this once and it does that. So, you know, I'll be playing normally. Mess up. And it's that easy. And then this button here is the most complex one. It's basically the same thing, but for when I'm recording. So if you're recording and you mess up, this will stop the recording, delete that last take, and then start a new recording. So you'd start a regular recording with this button here. And then when you mess up and you want to restart, easy as that. So if you're already well versed in the Stream Deck software, you can go ahead and click off and uh, go set this up. Hope something helped. But for the rest of you who may not be as well versed in the Stream Deck software, or maybe if you want to get a Stream Deck for an older guitarist in your life, I'll show you exactly how to set it up in the software now. So here's the home screen. What you just want to do is create a folder like I've got here. I'm just going to create a new one so we can go through it step by step. Create the folder, name it whatever you want mess with the icon, whatever you want to do, and then click into it. So now you've got this empty folder. So start out with the record. Most of these are just hotkey actions, which you'll find under the system folder. So I just drag it over there and then hit click to assign and then hit control R for record. Obviously you can title it whatever you want, but it'll start out with just the buttons you pressed. So then in the corner, I put two more. These are just for escape and home home for when you want to go back to the beginning of your project in a jiffy. One more hotkey that I just kept in the center for spacebar just because I didn't want anything getting in the way of it. So I keep these clear so that I have a clear path to it when I'm reaching for it. Undo and redo are the same thing. Control Z for undo and Control Shift Z for redo. So now let's do the multi keys real quick. You can do this a couple different ways. You can right click and create multi action. So we'll start out with just the stop start action. So all that is is two hotkeys. So you just drag one hotkey over, assign it to space, and then drag another one over and assign it to space. And then what that's gonna do is when you press this button, it's gonna trigger two space presses back to back. So it'll stop and start whatever you're doing. So when you're practicing, it's really helpful. And then the most complicated one is a one more multi-key. So I'll show you the other way. Down here there's multi-actions, and then you just want a regular multi-action. Same exact thing. So now this one is still just a bunch of hotkeys, but it's a little more complicated. So this is for when you're recording, you mess up, and you want to stop, undo, and then record again, and record a new take. And then when you mess up and you want to restart, 
So you're going to drag a hotkey over. It's going to be space to stop recording. Another hotkey. Control Z to undo and delete that take. And then one more hotkey, Control R, to record again. I'll just pop back over to my folder so you can see how I've got it labeled. Undo, redo, stop, start, record, stop, start, home, escape, all that. And I did a couple different icons, but it, you know, it doesn't really matter. The labels will tell you what they are, and once you get used to it, it won't matter anyways.